Welcome back to another episode of Pixel Web. In today's episode, I'm going to introduce you to a brief code snippet that you could use to remove the um, header link that points to the api.w.org. Um, you may want to remove this. Some people want to clean up the um, head section of their uh, website. So this code snippet will help you do that. So before I introduce you to the snippet, let me just um, show you where you can find that. So I'm on my local host, but whatever your domain name is, you just put it into the URL bar so you're on your website. And then once you're there, you can right click on your mouse and then view page source. I'm in Chrome, so that's the way to do it here. You could also press Control um, plus U. So once you're here, I'm gonna press Control or Command F to bring up the finder um, right here. And then you see it's api.w.org. I'll press return and then it will identify the location of where that is. Let me increase the size. So this is the back end over here. Um, you can see that it includes this link there. And it's for the uh, it's for it's partly part part of the REST API, and it's a way for you to uh, connect with the WordPress backend more easily. Um, it's a standardized way to connect, but some people want to have this removed. If you click on this link here, you know this shows you the wp-json file that's created. Now, obviously, this is very difficult to read. It's not really meant for you to read it. Um, it's meant more for, you know, it's part of the a API. But if you want to remove this, how do you go about doing that? All right, so I'm going to close off this window now, bring this back to its normal size. All right, so the code snippet I'm going to introduce you to is this one here. All right, I already tested out the code and it works perfectly. So I commented it out, but this code snippet, you would put it in your functions dot PHP file of your theme. Um, note you should only do this if your theme is something that you created. If it's something, if it's a theme created by a, another developer, you won't want to do it um, here because when an update happens you know, to the theme, you will lose this code. So there's another way to do it, and I'll show you that in a moment um, that will protect your code from being deleted. But for now, let's test out this code. I'm going to uncomment it. I'll save the file. I'm going to refresh this page here. Now view page source again, control F brings it up. Zero of zero. The code has been removed. It was previously here in this section here, but is no longer part of the, um, you know, in the head section, the code no longer exists there. All right, so that's one way to go about removing that api.w.org uh, link that was there. All right, so what's the other way? First thing, let me go here. I'm going to first control C. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to comment this out, save it. Let's refresh this page. Make sure the link is back there again. And now we see it's back over here. All right, so let's get rid of, let's get rid of this another way. If you are using a theme that you do not control, it's best to use a plugin um, to help you accomplish this goal. Whenever you want to add PHP snippets of code, there's you know there's a bunch of ways to do it. So we're gonna log in to the back end now, and I'll show you a plugin that you can use. All right, so the plugin that I'm using, and I'll just show you where to get it. You go to plugins, add new, you search for code snippets. And then it's the first one that's brought up. I did a video previously on this and uh, I'll put a link um, in the description section below for that video. Um, and I'll also leave it at the end of the, this video for you to check it out. But the code snippets plugin is an easy and clean, simple way to add code snippets to your website. It's on over 30,000 active installations. It has five-star reviews. 
Um, it's well maintained and uh, I've used it on plenty of sites and it has never caused an issue. All right, so from here, go to snippets to create, once you install and activate it, go to snippets, add new. So give it a title. So I'm gonna say remove API dot w dot org just for the title and then here i'm going to paste in that same code snippet that i showed you let me just increase the size so you see it again it's function remove underscore api and then you have your opening and closing curly brackets inside there you have the remove underscore action uh, from wp head and then this information here this is what it's been calling in the rest underscore output underscore link underscore wp underscore head and that's the priority level and the same thing over here and then you do the add action after setup theme and then remove api all right so once you have that done scroll down save changes and activate okay so now we have it saved so Let's see if we can find that again. All right. So now I'm going to go to the front end. All right. So now we'll look at the page source. Find. And you see zero, zero. All right. So now it removed it again. We were able to successfully remove that link from the head section of our site in two different ways one by putting it in the functions.php file of your active theme and again you should only do that if you control the theme and the other way is by using a code snippets plugin which is preferred if you do not control the uh the theme itself since an update would make you lose your code if you put it in the functions.php file all right so the code snippets plugin is it's a great plugin i did a video on it previously and you can just put the snippet of code in there and save it. Um, and then it'll remove that api.w.org link from the head section of your website. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's a, a code snippet that is helpful for cleaning up the head section. If you did enjoy it, give us a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe since I'll be providing you more code snippets to help you manage your WordPress powered website. Thanks for watching. Take care.